this is the Chrono Phone Windows Phone app. Let's start it up. This is the front page of the app where you have the, the different options of the app, different parts of the app. Let's start with the calculator. It takes you into the first calculator, which is the speed conversion from FPS to meters per second, and the other way around also. Say we have perhaps uh, 400 FPS, then we click it down, then it converts it to meters per second. And also the other way around, so say we have uh, 115 meters per second, click up and get it in FPS. The uh, meters per second part, we can take that by this, via this button, you can use that button to take it over to the power part, where it can convert from meters per second to joules. So if you, for example, let's take it the whole way, say we have uh, 400 meters, uh, 400 FPS, Click, click down to get it in meters per second, click to power, and click down, then we have, have it in joules. So 400 FPS with 0.2 grams BBs is uh, 1.49 joules. And here we can change it so, so that we have, uh, say, 0.25 BBs at 1.4 joules going up well, that will be 109 meters per second take that to speed click up that would give one, uh, 358 fps so that's how you use the power and speed conversion we also have a battery charge calculator you can calculate how many hours you need to charge your battery. Say if we have a 2000 huge battery, 2000 milliamps, and a very, very small charger, perhaps only 500 milliamps charger, and then it has to charge for almost 5 hours. That's given that the, the charger is a standard charger with a loss of 20%. Let's say we have a more standard battery of uh, 1100 milliamps with a decent charger with uh, perhaps 800 milliamps and then we would have to change for an hour and 40 minutes. So that's the battery charger calculator. We also have a gear ratio calculator where you have the in part and out part of the gear. So the numbers in here is the number of uh, teeth in the, uh, on the gear. And the in is uh, the one coming in from the previous gears and the out is the out to the next gear. So the pinion gear, the gear from the motor, it's uh, no input because it's driven directly not through gears, but driven directly from the motor, so it doesn't have an in part, it only has an out part. The out part is the part touching the next gear. So on standard gear ratios of 18, we have uh, 10 teeth on the pinion gear that touches the bevel gear. And the bevel gear has uh, 30 teeth touching the pinion gear, so that's the input from the Opinions, 30 gears touching the 10 out gears. Say we have a, perhaps we have a little bit talkier version where the pinion gear is, a, is a 8 teeth. And, uh, well, that's not. The pinion gears don't usually change. So let's keep that. But uh, bevel gears often, often the bevel gear has, a, has an output. Of, uh, perhaps eight and would uh, have a little bit more talky uh, talky gears or 
with uh, perhaps we have a speedier bevel gear but uh, usually it's uh, probably spur gear that changes the most maybe it has a uh, 25 out gears and something like that whatever so you all you do is you count the teeth of the outgoing part of the gear and the ingoing part of the gear and so the values for each gear first the standing with the pinion and the bevel input from the pinion out to the spur in in spur from the bevel spur out to the sector the sector in and of course the last part part is uh, is uh, the teeth touch the se of the sector out is the, the teeth touching the the um, piston so we don't need that that's always the same doesn't change the ratio of rotation so so that's how you calculate the gear ratio swiping again we go to the rate of fire estimating app it's quite cool quite new one i made uh, in here you have a uh, estimation of uh, how many rounds per second your gun will be shooting let's say we for example has a standard gun uh, with an m100 spring in it and uh, eg takimarui 700 motor on standard gears and we will expect a uh, rounds per second around uh, 13.5 rounds per second and uh, then we can kind of estimate the effects of uh, changing the, the, the motor for example if we just change the motor to high, uh, a system of high speed we increase the rounds per second quite drastically Maybe we use a classic arm hard talk or whatever, change the motor, see what effect that would have. We can also perhaps say, say we have an EG1000 and we want to we change the, the spring, we can see what decrease that will have in the rounds per seconds. And the last part is the gear ratio. You can also change the gear ratio, say we have a, perhaps high speed gears. The gear ratio of 16, I have uh, this 15 RPS and EG1000, or perhaps if we change to the super speed, doesn't really change that much because EG1000 isn't, isn't that talky. So, but if we maybe we took a super talky motor like this system, a magnum, we can see in standard. Yes, we get like 25, and if we change to perhaps super speed, increase it a hell of a lot. A little bit slower on uh, all high speed gears because it's a very talky motor. So, so you can use the, use this to to change the uh, to estimate the rounds per seconds you will get by upgrading your gun. Currently, I don't have uh, that many. Uh, spring loads in here but I will increase that on, in one of the next upgrades but what you could do is you could uh, perhaps you could uh, you could go in and say if you know that you have standard ratio gears so you know you have an EG1000 motor say you know you have an RPS that's maybe a little bit higher then you can go in and just just uh, lower the number, maybe it's instead lower the, the number. See, you have a, whoops, of course, if you have a lower and you have a, then it means you have a higher resistance in the box, and then you can match that. So, if you have, if you have more than a let's say you have a 130, and you know it shoots, uh, maybe it shoots. Uh, Thirteen, then you can change the value to match the current RPS, and then you can see the effect of changing the the gears 
gear ratio and you can see the effect of changing your motor. So that way you can just enter. You can find your own gearbox resistance by using some known values and then you don't have to wait wait for me to publish the next version. But, but I will be, be adding more uh, gear ratios, uh, well gearbox re resistance loads or springs if you if you like and I will also be adding more more gears and if you found your your gear ratio over here perhaps you counted the, these numbers and you can see so you know you have a gear ratio of 14.98 then you can go in and just change the, the gear ratio also saying perhaps 14 instead we can calculate the and then you can estimate the the rounds per second you will get by changing the motor, for example. So. Yep, speed, power, charge, gear ratio, and rate of fire. That's the calculating part of the app. Going back to the front page again, we also have a guides section. Here we have a collection of guides and descriptions that helps you modify and, and change stuff in your, in your, in your gun with uh, for example an angle of engagement let's take that angle of engagement guide that tells you how to correct your angle of engagement and, and with a lot of other stuff for example gearbox gearbox guide takes you to, through the steps of uh, assembling or you can also go to take it backwards and use it for dis disassembly, depending on what you want. I have a lot of a lot of guides in here. This will also be extended with time. And then we have a uh, rate of fire and velocity. Let's just quickly show you velocity for uh, this. This one needs a uh, needs a uh, some hardware. There's a how-to here. Describes how to how to make the high, the, the the hardware needed. Wire all this up, and uh, you can build your own velocity gauge. And use this app to to get the calculated values. The rate of fire is a uh, is another. It's, uh, uses the microphone to to calculate the rate of fire. Let's try and shoot a bit, see if we can get a reading. So now you have a, a reading here of a gun. Just shut the gun. Probably heard it on the on the on the mic. And the mic recorded all these shots. Each spike here is a shot. The red red arrows indicate where the uh, app thinks there is a, a shot. You can there's a little how to also explaining how to interpret the values and there's uh, some settings in here also that where you can you can change some uh, thresholds on when the mic should start pick up and uh, stuff like that. And play around with it a bit. The how to explains how how you should uh, how the, the 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 graphs should should look for good measurements. If, if you have good measurements you should have uh, equal equally spaced values with the one red dot on each each spike. So you can kind of See if the by by yourself that the the calculated rounds per second is correct. Let's shoot it again. Let's see this time we have the thirteen rounds per second. We had a single misfire, so it should only would only be twelve instead. This one there's no white spike here, so this is a misreading. Misreading is something that you you 
if you go in here and you can increase the, the, the value from where the, the sensor should start to pick up. So let's, let's try 10,000. Do it again. That should increase the value. So you see now you have a, a nice reading where you have one red arrow, one red line on each, each spike. Each spike crosses with the shot. So that's one of the way the app calculates the rate of fire. So by using the microphone on the gun you can you can measure the rate of fire on your in your well, it uses a microphone on the microphone on the phone of course and then you can use that to to measure the rate of fire. Last but not least we have a link here to the to the uh, homepage airsoft.spells.dk it's the online version of the app and we also have uh, and here we have a lot of extra stuff for example we have uh, some disassembly guides and stuff like that where you can go and find your specific mo specific model we also have the calculators and uh, some more upgrade guides stuff like that so that's it that's the description of the chrono phone app for windows phone it's a calculator where you can calculate speed to and from fps and meters per seconds power conversion to jewels charge time for batteries gear ratios calculation rate of fire estimation it has a guides section where it has the most used guides collection of guides descriptions and it has a rate of fire let's do it again where it can uh, estimate the uh, rate of fire based on the microphone reading so you just start the app and start shooting and let the microphone read how many shots per second you get. Let's try that again, that was bad reading. It was better, or 11 rounds per second with this. This is an AK-47 I'm shooting, basic one. That's a how to do it guides also so you don't get confused and you can follow follow this guide also and it's a link to the web page so that's it